Hello everybody, Rhea here again and I'm so excited to bring you this today. I have finally perfected my template. It's been a couple of weeks and there's been lots and lots of prototypes. Uh, this is a clip-on necktie for little boys. Now I know you've been asking for um, something for boys for a while now and I was trying to think of something that would work well for gifts and even on your when you're doing your your shows when you've got little girls coming up and putting their hair bow straight in their hair this is perfect for little boys they can just clip it on their t-shirt and they've got their very own wee necktie so i'm going to show you how we put it together um it's it's relatively easy you're going to need a couple of things that you may not um have to hand so i have purchased and these were from Amazon. These are called shoe clips. What they are, are um, they're used a lot for bow ties as well. So these can be used with my bow ties for clipping on. Um, and I think they're for decorations that go on shoes. But they work really well, as you can see. You've also got the option, if you find it hard to get these, of using um, these are earring, blank clip-on earring hardware. And they come in um, wee packs of like 20 or something and they're quite cheap too you get them from Hobby Lobby or I got the, these from my local spotlight here in New Zealand but they're probably easy to get your hands on these are just a little bit more robust so depending on how big you want to make your tie um, will depend on which one you want to use so let's get started there's three template pieces um, it's taken me a long time to <laughs> to perfect these I really wanted it to be quite a 3d look you can see with this it's a it's got a real fat kind of um, knot at the top and you've got a nice thick fold on the sides so what you need to do is you take up your main piece and you've got this little triangle now this works in two ways it is going to be your guide for folding but it's also there to um, peek through the back there we go to give it that that kind of um, look that a tie has. Now if we'll pop a little bit of glue on here just to line it up first. You want to make sure you're not seeing any of this from the back. It's going to be sandwiched. Okay, so let's just put some glue on there, a bit more. We always try to start with just a wee bit. I'm using hot glue again today um, because it is fast for the videos. You might like to use your other glues your e6000 i know there's a few different suggestions going around i can only get certain ones here unfortunately but super glue all of it will work well right so next you want to fold how cute does that look oh wow okay you want to fold both sides over and you want it to be straight at the top now we're going to start by gluing this part here together I'm going to stick a line there we go of glue there and gently make sure it's even I'm going to glue that down hold it down oh, mind my fingernails I've been in the garden definitely not not here to see my nails that's for sure okay right okay so now you can see it's a bit flappy which is what you want so we're going to we're going to run a little zigzag of glue under this down the middle and stick it down. You want to keep the sides free. If you want to get this nice sort of folded look um, to make it look a little bit 3D-ish, then you only want to put your glue down the middle. So I'll do a wee zigzag of glue just to the top of my triangle and you want it push it together ever so gently without it bursting through the seam okay right so you can see that's meeting there and what I'm going to do is just make sure these last two little bits at the bottom are glued that's it okay so like you can see I've got this really cool watermelon 
piece poking through the bottom um but it's open so you will see obviously you'll see your backing a little bit but it's not going to be worn that way that's so this is the back right so there we go we've made this main bow piece now on to the knot so what we want to do is you want to put your hardware in at this stage so with this what you do is you just stick it down with these heaps of glue make sure it holds fast now something you have to be aware of with anything that has small pieces and children is they need to if you're selling them you need to make sure you are, are advising and covering I mean, some people need insurance I know but you need to make sure it is noted that there are small pieces with these and that they should be worn under supervision parental supervision okay so there you go you got your clip in okay so the next thing you want to do is you want to line your back up with your front okay so you obviously it's a visual thing the top of the back of your tie needs to be parallel with the base of your knot piece so I'm just going to put a bit of glue whoops, make sure it doesn't move in there You can see this is a really weird template, but there were lots and lots of um, versions of this. And it's totally unique to Maisie Moo. I'm not sure for how long, but anyway, <laughs> it's just the way things are. Um, so, next, what you want to do is you want to fold the back over, this, this side without the clip. And you're not going to be gluing it to this. You're going to put some glue on the outer piece here, just on the edge, see here? Then this other side is folding over. So what you're doing is you're sandwiching your clip, there we go, and closing that off. Okay, so you've got a little mouth. The last thing you want to do is see how you've got an opening here. You want to close that off too because we're going to be putting a slight little bit of stuffing or, or just something to bulk it out. I'll get to that, but I'm going to just put a line there. Okay, and that's just going to stop anything that you put in here coming through. Okay, so you can see it's coming together. quite fun this a little summer summer tie okay now I have lots of this because I it's just it's stuffing you could get it from an old pillow my I've got bags of it because I use it for my felt patterns which you may have seen on my other shop because I design patterns as well and it's gross is it here so what you want to do is you want to take a piece of this and you're going to push it in and all this is doing is just going to help hold the shape. It's light. It's not going to make it heavy. Okay. So the idea here is you're going to fold your two little back flaps in. You can see they've got a cut there. It's all ready for you to fold in. And this could probably do. See this? You can just glue that down. Oops. Oh, it's getting really hot in my studio. That sun's come out. Okay, so we've got the back down. So you're going, what you're going to do is, the idea is, is you glue the back down and you glue the front down. Now, you will have some slight openings on either side, but that gives it this kind of peaked look. So you've got your little peak look there. So now we're going to fold the inner, the inner flap in first, and then you've got your outer one. So you want to have a touch of blue here. I'm going to go like this and this. I'm going to move fast since we've got hot glue. Put that down. Okay, so you can see that's kind of helping you close off. And then it's this is just to finish it. You want to fold the top over. And we're going to glue in place. So just make sure it's lined up. I'm going to do it one side at a time. my way around I'm 
Here we go. Look at that. How cute is that? Now I might have to come up with some display cards for you to put these on. But that there is ready to be clipped over the edge of a t-shirt. Or a buttoned up shirt. Whatever you choose, I'm sure it'll look great. Can't wait to see what you make on the Facebook group. Thanks for watching. Bye.